Andromeda Shun and Phoenix Ikki are two characters taken from the world called Sanseya, Knights of the Zodiac. The two characters were welcomed as orphans by Mitsumasa Kido in an attempt to make them become the Athena Saints. The two children, initially inseparable, had a protective and reserved behavior towards his brother. For example, Shun avoided arguing and seemed much more sensitive than the other boys brought by Kido. Being protected by his brother whenever an accessory. One day, Shun was originally supposed to go to Death Queen Island. But this was stopped by Hiki, who demanded that he be sent instead of him. The two brothers separated with the promise that they would grow stronger and one day returns to Japan in their bronze clothes. Iki during his training period meet a girl named Esmeralda, to whom he was attracted to her because of her appearance, which bore a striking resemblance to Shun. One day she was killed by Iki's master Guilty, who seen this sin and the altered character of the master. Iki manages to defeat the master by taking with him the phoenix cloth. As for Shun, after going through Andromeda's sacrifice, He takes his armor and leaves for Japan, hoping to find his brother. One day the two brothers find themselves during the galaxy and wars, he appears by surprise. Taking the Sagittarius cloth with him, pointing out the new dark and hateful behavior. with his brother and the rest of the saints in a clear and radical way. After a battle with the other bronze saints, he comes to his senses. Does align himself with his brother Shun and the other bronze saints. But what are their differences and what do have in common? The characters are first and foremost the opposite of each other in terms of behavior and character. Iki's personality is drastically different from his brother Shun. Appearing tough, cold, aggressive and very lonely. Unlike Shun who comes across as calm, kind, caring, and very emotional. As comrade Bronze Saint points out, Wolf Nike, it's incredible to know that both our brothers do to their opposite character. Furthermore, as Kenner realized that in the Ark of Poseidon and by Pandora in the chapter of Hades, The cosmos of Iki is full of anger, hatred, and incredible aggression. Contrasted, therefore, to the quiet cosmos of Shun. To which he himself managed to overcome to prove of Andromeda. Andromeda threw his scan and the affection he felt for his estranged brother.
However, both have in common incredible power that make them among the strongest of the bronze saints. And they are both guided by a deep loyalty and their brotherly love that they share with each other. Both are devoted to Athena and the help their friends in need. I thought he could dislike him work. He comes into battle whenever Athena's saints need his help. And he is often seen arriving at the right time to save his younger brother and friends from certain death. Ike is a noble, complex and mature character who does not do the every time it is necessary to sacrifice his life for his friends. Therefore, in contrast to his brother, who is also noble, but with a simpler and less Carter mature. Sure, during the battle, if put in difficulty, he brings out an extraordinary power. Managing to defeat his opponent and becoming merciless against the one who dominates him. Both characters are two inseparable brothers who remain in our minds and hearts, linked to this great masterpiece, Senseiya, Knights of the Zodiac. And you guys, what do you prefer between Phoenix, Inky, and Dromeda Shun? Tell me in a comment and let me know which is your favorite. See you in the next video, guys!